Hey guys, what's up? It's Pokezalixo here. I'm back for some more Pokemon goodness. Um, today I figured I would play the very first Pokemon game I ever played, um, Pokemon Crystal. Now, um, supposedly, you know, when Pokemon came out, they were they were only going to do the one game. It did so well that they decided to do a second one, and this was the creme de la creme, the best that you were going to get. So. Let's play through it. Um, I'm gonna give myself. Uh, I'm gonna try to get through all the way to red um, as fast as we can. Um, I'm not sure how well that's gonna work, but I'll definitely try my best. It's been a long time since I played through this game too. And with Sun and Moon just around the corner, I'm super hyped. Let's see what time is it anyway I think it's like 845 we'll just set that and to be to be honest I think that this is one of the hardest in the beginning uh, everybody knows Whitney but what I don't hear a lot is people talk about the rival battle right before, and I'll mention it when we get there. But as a kid, that was unbelievably hard for me to do. Let's see. I'm just going to be... Some technical difficulties, of course. Um, let's see here. I don't know what I'm doing. Messing around with the PC. There ain't nothing in there. I think it's kind of strange here how your mom will ask you if you know how to use the phone, and it doesn't matter how you answer because she'll tell you how to do it anyway. So, day of the week. Good old Monday. Yeah, don't you just turn the poke gear on? It's like the phone icon. I think it's super crazy that this game, Crystal, had uh, it had moving sprites. Um, I mean, they didn't move the whole battle, but they moved when you encountered. Um, <clears throat> and then when they went to Sapphire and Ruby, they didn't anymore. Until they did Emerald. But, and there was no day or night cycle, which was kind of strange. And I know it's kind of like a stretch, but it would have been cool to go back to the other regions. And I know for a while with Sun and Moon, it was kind of speculated that you, it would be the Orange Islands, and, and you'd be able to go back to Kanto. I doubt it, honestly. I don't think they'll ever explore that. I think that the only reason that you can go back to Kanto in this one is because... Nah, I don't want to go. I want my boy Toe to die. But yeah, I think the only reason you can go back to Kanto is because they thought this was it. This was the last game. Alright. And... I got a... KK. You know, another thing that's annoying about this game that, that, that they did a lot better in the next games was uh, the phone calls 
and the polka like like random trainers calling you at random times. This game is terrible about it. When I was a kid, I was like, oh yeah, I'll just switch my phone number with everybody. And then every three steps, you get a phone call that lasts for like, you know, 20 seconds. And you're like, uh, no thank you. so easy at the beginning. Why did they make it so easy? You know? Oh, it's made for kids. I, sometimes I wish that, that there was, like, uh, like, an adult, oh, like, geared. And I feel, I feel like Generations might be that. Uh, the, the, like, was it, weekly shorts they put out, Nintendo does. I feel like that's kind of like a callback to everyone that's been around since the start. Uh, is, you know, and kind of like highlighted moments. Because I know the, the most recent one I saw, because I, I haven't seen the new one yet, but uh, with Lance and Dragonite at the, the uh, Team Rocket base under the shop. That's in this game. We'll run into that at some point. Alright. Just making my way downtown. I hate these I hate this like this beginning part. Like oh we're gonna make you walk all the way over here and then all you gotta talk to somebody and then you gotta walk all the way back. But hey, you battled your rival, so that's good, right? Oh, oops. I'm freaking Tanya haven't played this game for ages. You know, speaking of like old Pokemon versus new Pokemon, I think that people hate way too much on designs because I feel like there are going to be good designs and there's going to be bad designs like it's just a thing um you know I was here because you know I'm huge in Pokemon when I hear someone like oh they made a trash bag or oh they made a, an ice cream cone um they also made a, you know a pile of sludge uh, they also made a Pokeball, you know, it, they, they, they are, every gen has had bad designs and good designs, you know, when you have to create close to, you know, a hundred monsters that are unique, at some point you run out of, like, ideas, and you, or you run out of, like, you're not gonna hit the nail on the head every single time you throw one out there. Like Jigglypuff and Clefairy. They're very similar. You know? They all have the two evolutions that got a baby evolution in this gen. Uh, they got you know, they're both pink, they're both no, I think that they're both fairy now, I'm not hundred percent sure on that. Um Come on, there is, there's definitely some good and there's definitely some bad and like, you know, terrible, terrible um, designs or ideas, I guess. Yeah. And not many people know this, but. I'm almost 100% positive that every generation is based off of something. 
like Gen 1 was based off of science and like DNA research. Hence why, you know, Ditto is there, the failed Mew 2s, um, and Mew 2, which is, you know, genetically altered Mew. And Gen 2 is all about mythology, that's why you, that's why they do the, you know, the three legendary cats or dogs, whatever you want to call them, you know, whole st story, and that's why they have, you know, um, Celebi is the myth of the forest, and the mythical Ho-Oh that was around in season one, you know. You'd be, I would, what would be cool to know is I know that they drew up, I want to say like 250 for Pokemon for the original games, and as we all know, only 151 got in. So that's like 200 or 100 left, and I knew, and I know they drew up more for Gen 2, and they didn't use all those because they only added 100. So, how long have they, you know, how many designs stick, you know, how long do they stick around? How many get reworked? How many, you know? <coughs> Excuse me. You know, there's a uh, the. Tortuga or whatever. Um, he had uh, art work done for him and promo art for Gen 2. You know, and they never, they never like followed up on it, and they never did anything until what Gen 5. So. This, this is, the, the, I think that this game is kind of like, eh, until you beat Morty. Once you beat Morty in uh, the Ghost Gym, then this game gets like exciting. Before that, it's just like, you know, you're just going through the paces, you're not doing anything special. Professor Oak just happens to be here. Yeah, yeah, Pokedex, Pokedex. Which, that's one hell of a chore now. Especially now, Sun and Moon coming out. I don't know. Are they gonna... Is it gonna be like, oh, you have to have a normal Meowth and an Alolian Meowth? And how do you keep a regular Meowth? Will you ever have a regular Meowth? You know? Or do, do you have to have one traded in? And like, the Meowth that you find on Alola are the, the pink, dark type ones. But you can get a trade from X and Y or something for a um, regular meow. I personally like the Alolian forms. Some of them are clever, some of them are stupid. Like, don't get me wrong, I liked the e Executor. I like that one. But... It's, uh... The dragon typing makes it weird. Way weird. I guess I gotta back off on leveling, otherwise I'm gonna get super overpowered. Anyway, I think that's where we're gonna stop for this one. Um, we'll continue on, fight our rival, give Professor Elm the egg and actually start our journey and hopefully we get that all done in the next one. So, 
I hope you guys like the return. Um, if you have any comments or anything that you want to add to it, um, feel free. Uh, you know, uh, just go around this time, uh, like I have in my channel description video, whatever you want to call it. You know, this this is about you guys, and this is about making entertainment for you. Because um, I know I've watched YouTube forever, and you know, it's helped me quite a bit. So, but if you want more information about that, go watch that video. So, you know. I'm glad that you guys came to watch. I hope you had a good time. 